Okay, father, I'm darting off to pursue my educational prowess. Okay, son. Don't dilly dally, dally. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, Misty. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Tony Tunes. That's how I know we locked in, baby. But if you are new here, hi, my name is Skylar Feliz, and we are gathered today to observe this wonderful creation, okay? <laughs> Um, Y'all, I completely made over Willow Creek and I'm so happy to be done with Willow Creek because the lore, the tea, the shadiness from Shady Valley <laughs> to the Yajiks to the Burbs, yeah, we got to get into it. So um, before we get into all of that, I have to say, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button now. Because one thing about it, once you click in, Do you're it. locked in. We already besties. And look, just hit that subscribe button, okay? If you want to. And also, if you're not following me on my other socials, what you doing? I'm on Twitter. I'm on Tumblr, TikTok. And I even got a Patreon with all the goodies. I have a Pinterest. You got to check me out. All the links are going to be in the description, okay? Follow me, besties. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump into today's episode. Now, first things first, y'all, we have added so much to the save. I started out by creating the Yajeks, aka the Projects, baby. Every hood has one. Let's not act surprised, okay? So we're going to check 
this out later on in the video um we also have the burbs which is like the suburbs of willow creek and then we have shady valley you know all your um locals that grew up here older sims are going to live here basically you had to grow up in the creek to live in shady valley because you've probably been in shady valley most of your life okay so that's what it's given and those are the three neighborhoods that we have now in willow creek or the creek we also have west side park which i went over with you guys last time as well as what i'm gonna call the strip um with target a bar and grill the glow up pole studio owned by miss frazier and then we have now added a motel now the motel says that it's a library but girl let's be so for real that's only so we can have the traffic um the aesthetic of it that we need <laughs> Because I need people to be coming in and out this motel. And right now, the game is not working worth nothing. So all of those um, lot traits are not working for me. So with that said, we might change it later from a library to like a hotel. But anyway, we have also added this recreational center. So this is basically um, the rec center that came with this park. It's called the West Side Recreational Center. And I just feel like every neighborhood has a rec center i've never been anywhere in the hood or anywhere else that don't have a rec center and then you know we got to have a church because we praise god all over the world <laughs> so yeah this is what we've added to the neighborhoods and y'all i tried to give y'all a finished look in the preview today or the machinima so you guys can see how each build looks in game so if you didn't watch the machinima you need to run it back what are you doing bestie go run it back so you can see how it looks when it's finished and polished with the reshades and whatnot and um while y'all do that i'm about to explain to the other besties all of these family trees that we have because girl girl now let me just say this i told y'all the game is complete shit okay i haven't been able to play without any problems so i'm gonna try my best to ex see <laughs> hi i'm paul exactly what i'm talking about like why but anyway, I'm going to try my best to explain the family tree without having to um, <laughs> pay attention to all of the hot mess that's going on. But this is one of the Yajix, um builds that I'm working on. I say working on because I finished the outside, um, the exterior and whatnot. But on the inside, y'all, it looks a crazy hot mess so i'm not gonna show y'all what the inside looks like i'm just gonna show y'all like the neighborhood so um first off this is like the first building there's three apartments in this building um there's also a food truck because i need to tell y'all if you don't recall this save is being made primarily for lps like just me justice and just any future lps that we have because i just really wanted to have a hold on the characters and you know just have a closer relationship with them <laughs> like i really want to know everybody in my save file so anyway um when percy comes around and he visits this is gonna be his food truck where he comes to sell food and whatever um we also have a waffle house in this neighborhood because period everybody knows waffle house is where you go after a club night baby you might have been out till five o'clock in the morning but just know waffle house is open okay and then we also have um another set of the yajix apartments over here and if you're new to this lifestyle baby <laughs> you don't know what the projects are the projects is really just low income housing government housing for those who need it and don't try to throw no shade towards the hood because one thing about it the hood gonna bring out your inspiration okay <laughs> everything right now in music and tv and whatever is inspired by the hood so don't ever throw no shade baby but um 
not me doing the most but for real though this is one of the builds um we do got some decor sims and all that up in here but i just needed that to give us like a you know full type of vibe because one thing about it the projects don't have one or two families they have like a lot of families okay but yeah so this is the second building i'm going really slow but i'm trying to show y'all that in the back there's like a pool so we got this pool area over here on the second one there's nothing on the back of this one besides parking but what is it giving y'all it's giving georgia georgia period <laughs> but it's just so cute to me i don't know if i was rambling too much but y'all that is how the projects or the yajics as i call them look um and then every hood or every project has a corner store whether that corner store is dollar general family dollar 7-eleven a liquor store you gonna have a corner store so because i didn't feel like going and building one i did download this beautiful dollar general build from alexis ariel i'ma have that in the description for you guys but yeah let's go ahead and talk about the family usually i like to do the introductions face to face but because i did not complete every family's um like all of their outfits and they just looking so crazy i'm going to do this by introducing each sim with their id yes i'm that extra i created id cards for every sim that i have in the creek or in the save file right now so let's go ahead and get into this family line now the family that lives here is the gerald family and they are distant relatives of the love family so if you don't remember the love family there is patience and percy which are the parents and patience is just his mom this is patience's family so <laughs> how do i explain it so patience mother clarice is directly related to Ophelia Gerard. So Ophelia is actually Patience's sister, and Ophelia Gerard is a Gerard because she's married to Leroy. Leroy also lives here with his sibling, um, not in the same apartment, but you know they still live in the Yajeks. They grew up here. This is where they at. Um, Leroy's brother also lives here. His name is Wilbur. Wilbur is married to Angie, and Angie produced. Um, <laughs> Angie produced Olivia Gerard with Wilbur. Okay, so Wilbur and Angie is Olivia's mama dad. Okay, you getting me? So now we have Ophelia and Leroy who are married. Ophelia is related to Clarice, who is the mother of Patience, who is the mother of Justice. You get it? Okay. And then Leroy has a brother who lives here. His brother's name is Wilbur, who's married to Angie, who has a daughter with Wilbur named Olivia. Now, Olivia has her own few kids. There's Onyx, the baby, and then there's also Ortavius, who is the oldest son. Okay? The reason or how we'll be able to always know who Olivia is, is because she's like the candy lady of the neighborhood. And I'm not talking about nose candy. I'm talking about actual candy. Plum. So I don't know where y'all grew up. If you from the hood, if you from any neighborhood type places where black people are, you probably had a candy lady before. And a candy lady is pretty much the lady who hands out all the snacks, all the candies. She basically selling them like an ice cream truck, but from her house. So that's that's Olivia for you. Now that we have the Gerald's out the way, we also have the Bros family. Now, obviously, their last name is not Bros. That's just how I'm going to identify them in this neighborhood. So we have Trayvon and we have Akeem. They do not have the same last name. So we have Trayvon Wilkins and Akeem Knight. They are bros. What I mean by bros is they're not related, but they grew up together. Both of these kids came from the system, never were adopted, and they just basically always had each other. So keep Trayvon and Akeem in mind because we'll be circling back around to them later. In addition to the bros, we have the besties. So we have Megan White and we have Gemma Collins. Both girls actually work for 
um, the same club that Brandy Frazier dances at. So they know each other. All three of them know each other. But Gemma Collins and Megan White actually live together. They're besties. And then the last family that we have occupying this lot is Miani Carlton and her boyfriend, Jacorian Langston. You know how that go. Young love. They wanted to move out on their own, even though they're not grown. They just want to, you know, move out and be grown. So they've been living here for a while. They're not that young, honey. But yeah, we got Miani Carlton and we have Jacorian Langston. And from time to time, you will catch Jim Crandall hanging around here. Um, Ain't no reason for me to explain who Jimmy Crandall is, because just looking at him, you already know what vibes you get. This is not my sim. I did get them off the gallery, so I will put the original sim and their creator in the description. I made Jimmy over in what? I would say is my image, but not so much. Okay, so keep that in mind. You might find Jimmy with his nephew, Drayden Young. He does not live in the creek, but he comes around from time to time because he is the only family member that looks after Jimmy. So any questions, class? (laughs) We're going to move on to the next neighborhood now that we got all of those introductions out the way. Now that brings us to the burbs. So as y'all can see, um, we added Milani Del Marcos and Tiago Del Marcos house here in the burbs because I decided last episode that I wanted her to be a little bit more closer to home. So we took our house from out of Hanford on Bagley and we moved it to the creek, period. So this house came off the gallery. I will try my best to find this house again because i don't think i saved it to my library either way i'm going to find the creators of these homes and i will put them into the description so nobody lives in the house next to milani but in these two houses we have added two new families so as you can see this first house is giving very much wealthy and it belongs to the westwoods over here on this side this is by Bean's Builds. It's called 70s Home. And y'all, Bean ate me up. Okay? <laughs> Bean ate me up, baby, with the 70s vibes because this build is so freaking gorgeous and it belongs to Shaylin Sharp's mom. Do y'all remember Shaylin Sharp from last episode? Yeah, let's go ahead and meet her family. Yeah, so y'all remember when I said Bean ate me up? Bing Amy up. Look how gorgeous this home looks. I'm going to pause it because, like I said, my game is tripping and I'm here in double. So we're just going to pause it right here so I can show y'all or reconnect y'all with Shaylin from last episode. So y'all remember when I told y'all that Shaylin do not have to live down below. She don't have to do this crazy move in with her man's mom scheme because she has her own family that she can go home to and from what i'm about to tell y'all shaylin can have it all if she wants it so this is shaylin y'all remember she's um engaged to samaj tate and they have a daughter whose name is myla this is myla we didn't get to look at her last episode because i think she was looking crazy but myla's all good now so they have Myla, and this is her mother. So this is her mother, Olivia Sharp. Olivia is a doctor who grew up in the Yajics. So Olivia always had her head on straight. She always knew what she wanted. She always knew where she wanted to end up. She didn't really want to leave home, but she definitely still wanted to live a not so luxury or lavish lifestyle but you know financially free lifestyle so anyway yeah that is olivia sharp and i know we got two olivias in the save file now and that might confuse y'all but listen these sims tell me their name i don't be making up their name when i'm making them or creating them they be whispering to me their name and she told me her name was olivia so hands in the sky i can't (laughs) I can't do that about it. I'm sorry. But yeah. And the man you're about to meet is not Shaylin's dad. But that's not for today's scene. Just remember I told y'all that. That's not Shaylin's dad. But this is her husband. And his name is Keith Reese. Now, when you see this man and you know what I did there, just don't say nothing. (laughs) 
do not do not don't do it this is keith reese and yes if you're thinking it you're probably thinking right but this is keith reese and i tried to make chief keith <laughs> but that didn't work out and he looks like a much like a wholesome type of guy like he's not really into all that gang shit unless he has to be by his family so yeah that's what we went with for him keith is just a good man okay he's a bouncer over at the club and anywhere that pretty much needs bouncers and he's a bodyguard so you'll sometimes see him with like celebrities or whatnot he's just a good man he's a good man savannah and once olivia left the Yajix and went into her doctor lifestyle. She ended up meeting Keith Reese after a terrible, troubling love disaster with Shaylin's father. Um, he came to the rescue. So that's Keith for you. Now, this beautiful little baby over here is Shaylin's little sister. And girl, I guess she's sad, honey. I guess she's real mad. This is her sister. This is Sailor. Oh, baby she doing okay okay she back happy yeah this is sailor and i am so in love with this little girl because she is so freaking cute she's a little gamer so she does gaming streaming and whatnot to bring in some revenue and she keeps it all saved up because one day she wants to create her own game so that is the sharp family and before we leave the burbs i definitely have to introduce you to the westwoods so this is the Westwood family. The Westwood family is made of Cody Westwood, Clinton Westwood, and Lily Westwood. So this father-son duo is Cody and Clinton Westwood. So Clinton Westwood is a professor. I haven't decided where he's a professor at yet because, girl, we haven't even finished our other worlds yet. So let's just leave it at he's a professor and Cody is his son. Now you might be thinking... How is this young girl Cody's mother? And then let's let me show you the young girl because you're probably not thinking that if you haven't seen her yet. But <laughs> when you see her, you will think that. Look, look, like how is this young girl the mother of a teenager? What well, a gag is, baby. Lily ain't nobody's mom. Lily is one of Clinton's previous students that he found attractive, that he got into a relationship with, and ended up marrying. So Lily is about 32-ish. I can't remember what age I made her, but she's a young adult, while Clinton is a elder okay so clinton he's not really an elder but he's close okay he's probably like 50 something but anyway this is clinton and cody so the story with cody and clinton is that when cody was a child his mother left vanished he don't know where she went he haven't seen her he haven't heard from her all he knows is that now he's just with his dad but three years after that happens, of course, his father soon moves on. He causes a huge scandal by marrying one of his prior students, which obviously was shake Cody because he's not so young anymore. And everybody is finding out that his father marry his student. You know, it might mess with him a little bit because he's from the suburbs and kids could tease him for that ultimately so he has like a difficult dynamic with his father he's kind of mad at him for one moving on and two moving on with somebody so much younger so Cody got like a lot of resentment for his family in general like his dad he's mad at him for moving on but he's also mad at his mom because he doesn't know where she is he doesn't know why she's going away all he knows is that he feels a little bit alone so and the thing about it y'all Cody has a whole nother identity because you see Cody is actually one of the hot boys The scholar, wait, hold on. Who is the hot boys? What you talking about? Hot boy, what? Hot boy, who? What's a hot boy? No, hold on, hold on, besties. Hold on. I'm going to explain it to you. So, the hot boys is a gang. And in the creek or around the creek, near the creek, through the creek, there's a gang called the hot boys gang. And they actually distribute drugs for 
the big guns. So if y'all remember in last episode, I told y'all that we was going to be getting around to who the big guns is. And I know that's so childish to call it the big guns, but baby, I can't think of no other way (laughs) to give him a name. So the big guns is pretty much like the distributor. He is the supplier. He is the all-time gangster. Everybody works for him because they're scared of him. He is the control of the drug scene. The drug and crime scene is under him. And he has a couple or a few younger guys that help to distribute the smaller drugs like cannabis, you know, molly, stuff that he would consider small, not big time, not hardcore type of drugs the hot boys distribute for him. So along with Cody, there's also Alexander Frazier, which we met last episode, who was also one of the hot boys. And then in addition to that, we have Trayvon Wilkins and we also have Akeem Knight, who are part of the hot boys gang as well. And they're pretty much like Akeem and Trayvon, they're pretty much like the big bros of the hot boys gang. So they go and recruit members for the hot boys they have their own like smaller gang within a whole bigger crime scene or scandal or drug scene, whatever you want to call it. But I hope it's making sense. (laughs) Your girl has never been in a gang, so I don't know how to explain it any more further. But just know the hot boys is a thing and they better make sure they do everything they supposed to do. Because one thing about him, he don't play your whole family could turn into something out of a drastic movie scene messing with the big guns. Now down at the strip, we added the motel because I wanted it to give the vibes that Trayvon and Akeem are actually trying to start their own operation on the side of the big guns operation. So they are pretty much trying to do their own thing. And when I say that, y'all, I don't know how crazy I can get on the YouTube but just know they trying to do some crazy things up in this motel. Just use your imagination when I say they trying to do some crazy things. So they usually have girls, they usually have some high paying customers who come in for those girls and this is all consensual, you guys. They're just trying to become a, you know. Did I just pass the vibe check? <laughs> oh, but anyway, y'all, that's what they're trying to get into. This, but anyway, y'all, that's what they're trying to get into. This is Trayvon Wilkins. Once again, I do have him up for download. I will put in the description if you want Trayvon or Akeem in your saves. They are available, but they are the bros that I spoke about when we were in the Yajix. I really just wanted to give y'all like a face to face with them because they are the big guns, little gun. It's when them for real like they bros they ride together die together fly together hide together whatever word else together that's what akeem and trayvon are to each other but they work for the big guns which makes them the small guns and the leaders of the hot boy gang so that's them this is where you guys come into play for me if you haven't heard yet, I am looking for some Sims to be my townie Sims because, y'all, it actually takes up so much time having to make every single townie um, when I only want a few of them to be, like, spotlighted. So if you have any townies that you feel like would be great townies for the creek or any future worlds, I have an application that you can fill out, basically just telling me the background of your sim, their occupation, you know, they name, they sign, what's they age, what they sign, you know, that type of stuff. <laughs> no, just playing. But no, it's just um simple information, what you would like to be you know, known as when I introduce your sim, stuff like that. So check out the application if you have a sim I can download. I would love that, bestie. 
So y'all, with all of that said and all of that tea spilled, that means that we can finally pick one of our Sims from the creek to play with. So there's going to be a poll up in my community tab, and this is going to be where I need my besties to go and vote who y'all want to spend a day in the life of. Make sure y'all choose wisely. Let's make it juicy. You know all of the backgrounds about the creek residents. If you have any questions, drop them below so we can answer them and get our next townie chosen or rather our first townie chosen for a day in the life of. But before we finish today's episode, guess what I've started working on next? We in the valley. Y'all, so the geography behind the valley being the next city that I work on, I wanted it to kind of be like Delso Valley is about a 30 minute drive from the creek. It's given like this is the downtown area of the creek. It's like the city of the creek. So as you can see, we've added a new family. I'm not going to tease this family yet. I'm just going to tell y'all that this is where the big guns resides. And who is the big guns, you might ask? Well, here's a preview. Watch close. Georgia. 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 We on the grind. Georgia. All the time. It ain't nothing on my mind, but Georgia. We ain't playing with you. We on the grind. Georgia. Bust, bust, bust. We on the ground, we're